Hey everybody, Trevor316 here, and this is my WWE Hell NSL preview and predictions for um, this Sunday. And, you know, there are five matches on the card with a, with a sixth that's a total rumor, so I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, let's just start off with the Divas Championship match. Kelly Kelly... The Divas Champion defends the title once again against the Glamazon Beth Phoenix. Now, I am just hoping, hoping to whatever WWE higher powers that there are, that they will not allow Kelly Kelly to keep the championship again. Come on. I mean, I want Beth Phoenix to win the title because, come on. If, I mean, any for anybody that you know doesn't know or does know, when Beth Phoenix was the women's champion, the WWE women's champion, she was dominant. It, I mean, it was you know it was not until Mickey James ca uh, came and beat her that you know you know she lost the women's title. But nobody, nobody, and I mean nobody, could stop her. She was unstoppable as the women's champion. And, you know, and I think it's about time that they return her to that glory because as of now, her and Natalia are the best divas in the WWE in terms of power, in terms of uh, strength, in terms of beauty, to be honest, just in my opinion. But, um, and just overall better than all the other divas. So, you know, I think Beth Phoenix will win this Sunday. I hope Beth Phoenix will win this Sunday. I don't want to see Kelly Kelly win yet again, but... You know, I wouldn't be surprised because it's the WWE. It's so predictable. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Kelly Kelly walked out again because she's the prettiest and, you know, she has, you know, she's she's the John Cena of the D of the Divas division. You know, people love her. You know, I love her. I, I won't say I, I don't, but, you know, it's just I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of her. So, you know, what can I say? But I hope Beth Phoenix will win this Sunday, but I wouldn't be surprised if Kelly Kelly was to win, you know, just because the writers of the WWE are so, so, they're geniuses. So, um, next, we're going to have, we're going to have the Great White Sheamus. That's right, the Great, the Great White Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior, taking on Christian. Mr. One, Mr. One More Chance. Yeah. Um, now, on SmackDown, it was said that uh, this match was going to, or at least Booker T said, this match was going to be inside Hell in a Cell. Now, I went on .com, and it doesn't say that this match is inside the Hell in a Cell. I'm pretty sure I've watched the Hell in a Cell pay-per-views from way back, and I'm pretty sure it's just the world title matches that are inside the Hell in a Cell. Well, this is a specific built-up grudge match. Uh, that's That would be in the Hell in a Cell, but no. This match would not be in the Hell in a Cell. It would be at the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. But, um, I like, I mean, I kind of like the way this feud has been built up. You know, I want to I want to see what happens. You know, I think Sheamus, I mean, I want Sheamus to win, but in my heart, I know Christian's gonna win off some whim, whether it's a uh, disqualification, or uh, count out, or you know something or the other, or or by pure luck. So I I can see if that happens. So I hope Sheamus wins, but if he doesn't, I know Christian will win. Not off, you know, pure beating Sheamus, but you know by DQ or or some or another something like that. So um. All right, next. Um, actually, we're gonna go to this rumor match because I mean I actually watched uh, someone else's video um, that said that there's a possibility that this Sunday night at the pay-per-view at Hell in a Cell it will be a United States Championship match between Dolph Ziggler, the champion, and the Internet Champion, Zack Ryder. Now, don't shoot the messenger, and I, I mean don't quote me on this. If it's true, okay. If it's not true, don't blame me. But uh, if that does happen, I want to see Zack Ryder win the championship. I think everybody wants to see Zack Ryder win the championship. You know, he's the quote-unquote internet champion, so why not have two belts? So, but um, 
if that does happen, you know, you have the your swagger factor and you have the Vicky factor. And I seriously doubt uh, Ryder will win if that match does take place on Sunday. So, you know, Ziggler will will probably win that. I want I want Ryder to win it, but I'm pretty sure that uh, with all those people in this corner, Ziggler will win. Um, next we have Sin Cara taking on Sin Cara. Um, well, let me just let me just like break this down. Sin Cara, um, his his name in the uh, independence was was Hunko, at least in the uh, in the AAA Mexican uh the Mexican wrestling uh. Um, company. I didn't have a word, so. Uh, but you know, he was mystical coming in, and you know, you know, that, that's what they said before he came Sin Car. He that's who he was before he became Sin Car. That's who he was down in Mexico and stuff like that. But um, after Money in the Bank, everybody thought he was injured, but no, he actually got suspended for uh violating the WWE's drug policy, wellness policy, um, and he was suspended, but they brought in another wrestler from Mexico by the name of Hunko. And Hunko was the guy who, until a couple weeks ago, was impersonating Sin Cara. You know, I I think by the WWE it was a fill-in until uh, uh, Mystico's, uh, I believe, a 60-day suspension uh, was up. So, yeah, but you know, obviously you can tell which one's Hunko and which one's Mystico because Hunko is like, he's like two feet taller, to be honest. He's two feet taller. Mystico's shorter. So, but Mystico's the real Sankara. But uh, this uh, on SmackDown, Hunko, you know, took off the blue and gold uh, mask and an outfit that's in, uh, that Mystico wears and had a black and a black and gold, or a black and pink, or something like that, uh, outfit, and I, I really like it. It's like it's like Spider Man Three, where um, Peter Parker, you know, went from wearing the the red and black to the black and white, black and gold. So I, I I'm I really think that's gonna be a great uh, great match. I'm waiting to see it. It's exciting, you know. Yeah, it's not as big as The Undertaker versus The Undertaker at SummerSlam, and I believe it was '96. Um, it's not big as uh, Kane versus Kane in 2006, you know. But I think it'll be an interesting matchup, especially with these two great Mexican wrestlers fighting. So yeah. Um, Orton versus Henry. Simply, I'm gonna put it like this: I hope that when Randy Orton walks into hell this Sunday, that he joins the Hall of Pain, because. You know, yeah, he got a little dinky RKO off on Mark Henry tonight, but I want Randy Orton to be destroyed because he's walking into hell with the world's strongest man. And I, and me personally, as a big guy, and I'm gonna be honest with this, I even, I don't even want to step into hell and sell with Mark Henry because he would beat me down. You know, even though I'm a big guy, but he's he's like at least 200 pounds bigger than me, and he would crush me, and I would I would not. I wouldn't walk for months. I don't want to join his Hall of Pain, so I wouldn't even be, you know, doing that. But anyways, I think Randy Orton will lose Sunday, and Mark Henry will be will become the world. I mean, will retain the world title, and um, and just keep, you know, trucking along as the as the most dominated world champion around. And I, you know. But I don't really, I really hope the WWE writers does not cheat Mark Henry again, and allows Orton to keep the title because that would be ridiculous. I want Mark Henry to go into SummerSlam next month, um, as a champion. I mean, not SummerSlam. Damn, that's a SummerSlam. Uh, Survivor Series. Sorry, I'm kind of out of my mind tonight. Um, so yeah, I think Mark Henry will win. No shot of, no, no doubt about it. You know, there's no way Orton is going to beat Mark Henry in the Hell in a Cell. No way. And finally, um, the triple threat match for the WWE Championship, the voice of the voiceless CM Punk, the WWE Champion John Cena, and the Mexican aristocrat, the essence of excellence, Alberto Del Rio. Me personally, I want CM Punk to win. 
or Alberto Del Rio. I don't want John Cena to win. I'm sick of John Cena winning the title over and over again. I'm sick of him keeping the title over and over again. And I'm sick of him being in the main event so over and over again. If he comes out the WWE champion, I don't know where, where Raw's going to go. Because it's going to, I mean, how many times can you have the same champion over and over and over and over and over again? It's ridiculous. And I just don't like it. But I, I mean, I hope. CM Punk or Del Rio somehow wins, but I would not be surprised once again if the WWE you know, uses their cash cow to you know boost their their main event and boost their pay per view by having Cena win. But um, you know I just hope Sunday he loses, and I hope you know Del Rio or Punk I don't care which one wins the title. They're both they were both great champions. And Cena's not, period. So uh, I'm going to end this this right now. It's gone over 11 minutes, so I'm just ending right now. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I have a SmackDown review that should be coming up in about five minutes. So, you know, stay tuned for that. So um, thanks for watching. And um, we'll see you this Sunday as the WWE sends their superstars into hell.